Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck. Today we are going to speak about how to perform and how to be good in PvP. I'm gonna give my tips. If I forget some part, you can tell me into the comment section. Uh, so we have a deal. Today, uh, not today, all the time in this video, if you put a link into the description, I will look at it and I can VOD review it. So if you want someone to give you tips and advice on your gameplay, just put a link into the description. But for me to do that, you need to tell me which part you like the best in this video, which uh, tips you think is the best, or which one you think is the worst, or which one I forget. You see what I mean? So if you engage with my video, I will engage with yours. So let's get straight into it. One thing that we hear about in shooter all the time, and mostly in shooter, uh, it's gonna apply to New World because New World is tab target, but you're still gonna have to aim a bit. So, uh, centering, the way you're gonna move, if your centering is already at the good place, you're not gonna have to drag your screen, your screen all the way and waste some time. It's just like, that makes sense, and uh, you see the, the centering is something that is that become harder and harder more you get close to the enemy because there's another thing that we call breaking ankle. You can call it like just breaking the angle of the camera, breaking the ankle of the dude. It's like you just turn around really quick, so the dude have to rotate his camera onto you and maybe they're gonna be able to do it with the tab target i'm not sure uh we're gonna see what it's gonna imply with that but by breaking people camera in every game 90 percent of the time it's gonna be good you're gonna see people even in one of warcraft are just running around each other like this uh, and, and jumping to just to, to break the ankle uh when we are talking about the jump i don't know if they're gonna change it into new world and enter none but if you are slowed into the game and you jump when you're slowed uh, it's make you just a bit faster and it make it more fluid so wherever you your jump you like you're slowed and you can't move and you need to keep moving someone is attacking you or something you just jump into the direction you want to keep moving and it's gonna free you for from many things uh, aiming, I feel like uh, mostly this is something you're gonna see mostly with the bow. People just hold their, their arrow too long. You need to just try and go. Uh, the aiming is gonna be a bit harder to practice uh, on console than on PC because whatever you do on PC, uh, you are just practicing aiming. Like you are clicking on Facebook on your uh, on hot chicks and uh, you're practicing aiming kind of you see what i mean so for controller it's different uh i can give you a challenge that is pretty hard if you don't like to train against human like you you have something to prove you don't i don't know you feel bad when you you drill people and you lose non-stop you just want to learn the basic there's some beer into the game i'm gonna show you two beer uh there's one in ebon scale when you go there uh you're gonna see it straight there onto the map. Uh, the bear is kind of small, so the hitbox it can protect you if you're a ranger or whatever. What happened with the bear in this game is you cannot slow them or root them, so you're gonna have to learn to keep moving while throwing attack. So if you can beat those bear without using cakes, uh, RT meal without using a uh, potion then you're already better than some player that is going to be in OPR. Believe me, if you can beat those two pair, you're going to be able to beat a lot of people in OPR with whatever the build you have, all right? So, uh, I'm going to put two together right now. The positioning and the map awareness. So the positioning is more about where you're going to be into the map. You don't like if you're a mage you don't want to be into the clump uh if you have the high ground it's gonna be easier to shoot on people um if you're a healer you need to stay close to your people but not too far you need to use them as a body shield so your position is gonna be really good and your map awareness gonna just make your position better 
learning the the awareness of, uh, like the awareness of what is happening into the fight you need to not uh focus tunnel focus tunnel vision on people you need to always have a good vision of the surrounding to then go at the best positionment possible at this moment to be able to just beat the people and then do the calls too because this game you're gonna do a lot of solo but uh, you, it's a group base too so just to do call out being at the good place at the good time you have a good view of what is happening and you can call everything so the positionment and the map awareness together if you can mix them together it's one of the best skills you can have into the game like mostly as a healer or shot caller i will say but the shot caller is mostly on the point and he's gonna just do the objective it's mostly gonna be healer thing and into the open world the map awareness it count a lot it's really hard and the shot caller when there's influence push uh, you can see their brain work works really really hard okay so the stamina management the stamina ma management always been something that create a big skill gap uh, at the start of the game the stamina like it was not nerfed at all so i was just able there was like four to five people on the objective and i was just there as a fire mage and fighting them like some bruiser with hammer and i was just laughing because there was not able to hit me and then they nerfed the stamina again and again and again till i was not like i still can do 1v4 but my 1v4 are now really impressive because it's almost impossible to do it when i hit a 1v4 it's like whoa but in the past i was able to do like 1v7 so yeah and then with the new stamina change after i don't know if it's gonna be easier to do a 1v4 because people like it, maybe it's gonna create a skill gap like i'm gonna play with the stagger build as example i'm gonna play with the my great axe and blunderbuss build and then i'm just gonna bait the dude to use a dodge because i'm gonna get close with my blunderbuss and pa, 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 pa. and then the dude's gonna have to use a dodge or he die like there's just nothing to do about it and then he's running away he uses dodge away and then i just use a great axe and reap poop the reap have a stagger and then bring you back to me then you're gonna have the slow of the reap and you're gonna have the slow of the no stamina when it regens so you're you're just dead like you keep trying to run away i bring you again with the maelstrom and then you keep to, trying to run away and then i do like a charge into you man that's just not I think this new stamina change is going to be easier to outplay people, but if you can outplay them without wasting your stamina, they're just going to be fucked. Like, uh, a bunch of people trying to run away, like, because they're panicking because they don't have stamina, is, like, the best thing that can happen to you. Uh, the animation cancel. There's a lot of weapons in this game that have animation cancel. I'm going to take the fire pillar on the fire staff as example. Like, every time you cast a fire pillar, you're you're not better to do the um, the the, the dodge every time after it but most of the time you're better to do it you're gonna see there's a lot of animation that you can cancel like this uh there's some weapon combo that you can con cancel like you do two light attack then you cancel with the dodge and then you keep hitting two light attack like the with the hatchet there's uh, some combo like this because there's a lot of it into the the, the chain and at the end they do, do a random spin so a lot of people just dodge when it comes the time to do the random spin at the end so to just do some light attack non-stop dodge no light attack non-stop without having the spin animation at the end uh back capping so this is about position man map, map awareness strategy back capping in opr like you just there's too much people on a point you cannot take it you go take another one it's going to be the same into war it's going to be the same in um, open world there's some point to capture and if there's too much people on a point your shot caller is going to call to go on the other point or to split up try to attack two point at the same time or three point at the same time you see it's all about what your shot caller is asking for and the meta like the strategy it's a meta and it's changing non-stop the target selection uh depending on your role the target selection uh it's not 
that much like if you're a bruiser into a clown you're mostly gonna hit bruisers so it still matter because if you're listen if you're a bruiser into a clump and there's someone that is low into a clump an enemy that is low and you're just one bruiser going and hitting him he's not gonna die but if all the bruiser there have enough awareness to just switch target and hit him at the same time he's gonna die so the target selection is really insane at this moment and it's the same for the the mage it's really tempting to hit the clump you you can have a mage build to hit the clump like ig fire staff but you can have a mage build to hit the backline too and hit the may the the healer and the, the squishy people and at this moment the target selection be become really really crucial and you need to be really skillful and, and good in your positionment to be able to go take that target you you go select it and then you go take it and then that that target is protected so you need support to do it and it's not everyone that can support you enough to do it like uh, you need to have a good team sometime to reach a, a healer with a good team because if you have cat, four bruiser around him like it's pretty hard to just reach it the hammer is going to chain um tcu so you can do the duel if you want to get better in pvp and you don't care about dying you can do the duel in winds ward in front of winds ward there's most of the time people just in the front door doing duel there but what happened is there's no map uh, the map is not uh it's it's on, mostly on the same level and people always do it like on the road so uh, the duel you, you're gonna get good at the game doing that but there, you're not gonna get used to just run around a rock while fighting someone and have to jump onto it under it like there's a lot of game mechanic when you run around a tree you get you get like stuck on the tree if you're too close to it so it's like there's a way to run when you're into a wood when you fight into a wood against people you can outplay people really hard if you know how to do it but it's hard to do because at the start you're just gonna get stuck in branches so yeah uh, doing fa farm war you can do farm war again and again like just find people that need people and uh, you, you do it like there's always farm war and there's always gonna be and uh, yeah that sucks but this is how you get experience and vods and then vod review when you get your farm war vod review or whatever is your video open world pvp outpost rush you're gonna take this video and upload it as unlisted on youtube and then you're gonna send it to whatever is your team leader or whatever people you think that is good at the game and can give you advice or me <laughs> so yeah thanks everyone for watching this video thanks for making it this far uh, if there's still some gameplay left have a good time watching it peace out On my way, on my way. 
Good, good. I'm I'm taking uh Help <laughs> I'm dead uh, I got two uh, I was in the one v three and then it's just never handed.